Hi guys, just playing around with a um, little circuit board that comes out of a radio control servo. Had a little discussion with somebody whose name I've forgotten at the moment, I apologise for that. I'll put it in the video description or add it in the video later. Um, they used the little servo to control an electric motor to give them forwards and backwards and acceleration and that in a small, I think it was a small car, or it might have been in a boat. And I thought, well that's an easy idea. I hadn't even considered using the servo circuit board as a mini ESC for a DC motor. But that's exactly what we've got here got my servo tester which is actually falling apart at the moment a little bit of stickies come loose and this connector that I've used is actually a bit loose but apart from that that's the circuit board from the servo um, because we haven't got the um, little potentiometer that's in the servo to detect how far it's turned I've put two 2.2k resistors onto the wires to replicate it. Uh, I've added wires that normally go to the servo motor, they're now coming out to this little 3.7 volt uh, motor that I got from eBay. I think it's a Hubsan replacement. I stuck a propeller on it so we can actually see it working. So four AA batteries there, rigged up with the right sort of plug. Oh, and there we go, straight away. I need to keep my finger on there because that's, that's a little bit loose, as you can see. That's reverse. That's forwards. I don't think we've actually got speed control as such. Oh, just a little bit. Yep, we have. So we've got speed control. And we've even got reverse. It's probably something that's entirely obvious to a lot of people, but I hadn't even considered using it as a speed controller. I've tidied the resistors up so they're soldered directly on the end now. The red and black wire are the ones that normally go to the servo motor. They're now going out to my external motor. And on the back there, that's the three wires that go on to the receiver. Um, I think that's about it. So we'll mount it on a one of my rubber band powered cars, but I'll stick a fan motor on it. And we'll give it a try in the kitchen. We've got no steering on it. This is purely to demonstrate using that servo uh, circuit board as a mini ESC. Ooh, come back. The only problem you do have is actually getting the zero point. Probably easiest to use the trimmer to get the zero point. But we can go forwards and we should be able to come back again. Yep, coming back because there's no brake on it either. The reverse is a bit slower because the propeller's the wrong way round. 
so it hasn't got the same power. And there we go. So uh, you see that the zero point is a problem. <laughs> the easiest way to stop it is actually turn the transmitter off and then it stops. So there we go, a radio controlled car using a servo circuit board as an ESC. Just a bit of fun, thought it might be interesting to try it out.